less than a minute, you shall see a story that's just as normal as any other story. The story goes like this. When I walk with my jeans in the winter, okay, the cold, brisk air pushes the air up my pant leg and into my body. The only thing it usually never disturbs is my rear end and my stick in the front. So I'm thinking, when, this, when, the, when you're in the underwear, it closes everything in and it doesn't let anything breathe. It's not good for you. It's breathing its own air. It's almost like your, mids, your, your butt and your dick are, are conformed to one society, so we wear the underwear. Well, today, I walk in the feet of Jesus as I wear no socks and I do not put on my underwear for the reservation and the understanding of what everybody needs when we meet by the balls or the dipstick okay is what the fall is all about because when you dip your stick and it all pops to go pop goes the weasel something comes out and something grows so there's all a misunderstanding between socks and underwear and hats a misconception we are being deceived we are being deceived in many reasons for many ways one the Christ two the Holy Mac three all the world leaders four withstanding of the passage of the lands that man should have the right to be free and to be free means that he's not to be judged by one judge but that everybody should judge each other as many other than one because you only can judge what you see as one so if you do not take the aspects of all the others and if nobody says he's bad I will say he's bad if nobody says he's good I will say he's good because we need both ends of the stick because when you take the dipstick or your leg to go to the gas pedal, when you hit the gas, you need your whole foot to push. You need your body to push. You need your mind to think to tell your leg what to do. So if you ain't doing good with any of your legs and your balls are just hanging around, you're just asking or asking and asking, ass king. Your ass be seems to be the king of all the ways you swing them. So however you swing them today, and for the females that are out there, I hope you're not... Um, uh, uh, this is all has to do with Christ. Christ is the Holy Mac. Don't call him Christ. Wherever we go, we can't say Christ. We have to say Holy Mac. Jesus, me. Then you'll know what we're talking about. All in expressions, we're here to change. You see, in this chapter of the book, we're coming up where it says, play the game. 40. 40, 400, 4,000. Lay it all on the line in the next chapter and see what I can come up with. The only problem is with me, is I'm all over the place because I see so many things. So at the end of the story, everybody sees a little, a lot of a little, but nothing really conjunctions together for a good understanding for the people who are, when they get on, are not willing to accept just the story, my friends. $11, you go to the theater, it's just a story. You don't come out from the theater and take your ticket and tell the guy, hey man, this story was only worth three fifty. I want five fifty back. No, that's the way the social government works. Okay, another thing before I go, Canada and Russia touch Chernobyl. How far is Chernobyl and what's at the end of, of one end of Russia and the other end? Because my grandfather told me a story many years ago and now I think it was Don Adams. He showed me something. So I went ahead under 7286 NGC, Pegasus, I don't know, I think it's Aquarius. And it shows in a line all down at the bottom here, it shows... Uh, beehives and nests and I'm, I'm wondering if I can get away from here and see what I can show you um, it's not on this one maybe it's on here I'm gonna take a look I don't see it anywhere I don't see it anywhere maybe it's on this one no I don't pick it up some somehow I uh, erased the design um, but uh, let me get back to who we are over here uh, not here not here okay here okay yes yeah, so um, there's a, a set when Don Adams sees that blue light you got to come into the blue light very very slowly okay because I did it the opposite way I went down in NGC 7286 not to the bottom just a little bit up from the bottom maybe of like this much and then you can see a blue dot and you have to come in on it and move it left move it right and then you'll see a beehive created now the minute you try to come into the beehive and move it to the left or the right all of a sudden, instead of the beehive coming here, you see this beehive disappear, and then this one appears. The same way you see the same design as Don Adams. 
Don Adams show, is showing you the end of the world comes, my friends. It is the most fantastic time in the history of man that we went through. The end of the world, meaning the end of a psalm, the end of a dictionary, the end of a song. The truth comes within the end. Who cares? We care about how it ends. We don't care that it ends because the end means we get up from our seat, okay, from the theater, and we go out for supper and we discuss the movie. The movie ended our life for a better understanding, for a conscious mind, to lift and to rise, to understand the differences, is to understand both sides. Not just to follow Jesus Christ because he's got a name. You follow no one. You follow Christ because if he talks well, you listen, you hear, you learn. And you learn a knowledge and then you say it's wrong, then you say it's right. Then you can vision between the two. Jesus is a vision between two sides. He tried to take the middle of what he said, but he never took the middle at all. Because you don't run into an area that you don't own and flip over everybody's game because they're in the palace. You don't do that there. You just don't. It's not right. But he did it to show deeps and down inside. He didn't really give a damn. He knew what the truth was and he was going to force it out of himself, not into everybody. But when he saw something that was wrong, they're going to say to themselves, hey, maybe he was right. Because they're always saying he's wrong. But maybe he was right. And then again, he could be wrong. You may be right. You may be crazy. All these songs is God telling us a story inside a story. Every time you go to work and buy a coffee, it's another story in a story. They have the coffee in their cup. Okay, just like the Egyptians. Oh my God, the Egyptian art is so fantastic. God did good with the Egyptians. I love the Egyptians. Oh my God. Uh, they have the teacup. And... There's coffee in it, but before there was any water in it, the water was in the sink. So they had to put it in here to dump it in the water so that they can put a coffee thing so it can fall into a bigger thing so that when you make an order, they can take that coffee and spill it from one cup into another cup, put the top on it and say the end. I now serve the coffee, the coffin of life. <coughs> I'm dying, I'm dying. The coffee, the coffin, the toffee candy, the toffee, the energy to understand my friend. This is my friend. Why? Because he shows, number 11 at the top, he shows the reptilian style design. He shows his orangey red color, the truth of burning fire. When he comes, you know his truth. He's pissed off. And it's about time we change. We change and get change. So everybody remember, Jesus Christ is Holy Mac, I can't believe. Holy Mac, I did all the letter counts, it works for it, it works, it's a very good name. Holy Mac, when they created the Mac truck, they made it upside down with the steering, the keys, and everything else, just like the Chrysler car. Holy Mac, all I'm representing is Jesus, but they can't say the name because nobody will buy it. Holy Mac, everything's upside down. The time comes, the fire-breathing dragon is here. He will burn the cards up. You know what I'm saying? He will burn the cards up. You see, this is life, right? And... When the life ends, we don't need these cards anymore that tell deceit, that tell the fire, that end the life, that burn away number nine, seven, eight, nine, because I am the heavens. And now we have a card that is burnt out. What do we have left? Two, four, six. We have the six card left in this, right? See the way I burnt the nine card? Right now we have the seven card, the same design as the seven card, except the dot on the seven card is not here, it's at the top. So I turn it upside down. And there you go. Two, four, six, seven islands. Two, four, six, seven islands. Why there's no dot on the bottom? Because the eight card says I connect the heaven to man's land. So that's why when you see this card right here, this one, the eight has two of these. Okay, one up here and one up here. It's two different sections. Okay, um, what can I explain to you? What can I tell you? I just can tell you whatever comes into my mind, whatever I can justify within one's mind and understand the thinking uh, in between the minds of all the others, I can come up with some hypothesis um, which enables uh, the situation to let everybody get involved so we can all have our hands in it for a better difference and understanding of the challenge of the mind of life. All be well, my friends. Raphael, 7286. Ramira Marira.
What does that mean? I have no idea. I was told to say it yesterday, and I forgot. And I was just reminded just now. It means I come and I come, and I will be here very soon. But if you wait upon me and you take no action upon yourself to correct the things inside this world, your mind will have no advancement and you are no, no better to me now than you were before. You must understand the ways and the way is to move and understand what a move is all about. Inside the mind, you move the mind and it becomes the creation within, within that you, that you and only you will ever know of what you're actually thinking right now.